Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Planescape Torment. In the last episode, our poor nameless friend had a bit of a BSOD. Mostly because, well, he viewed a sensory stone belonging to Dayanara, who was a sensei. And, well, he found out just how, he, just how she saw him. And not only that, because it was a memory involving him, his memories were jogged, and he found out that Whatever man he used to be was just using her. And just... Damn, and there was a really sweet and touching scene with Grays and just like, if, if you haven't watched it, go watch. Go, go, go watch. Anyway, you may be wondering, uh, once I exit the inventory screen, Mihari, why the fuck are we in the buried village? I thought we've done all that we need to do here except, like, that shit with, uh, friggin', uh, Fucking the cranium rides. Many is one. Well, apparently I have been shared a hot tip, uh, and that frog's crutch is not only it's not only a uh, weapon, it's also a key. If you walk over one of these archways while having it in your inventory, if I recall, if you approach the archway, it begins to shimmer faintly. You notice that frog's crutch emits a similar glow. But above. <laughs> Ta-da! We are in Trog's vault now. So, and there's apparently something I... I might want to get. Done. Oh, I can't go around here. I have to take the stairs. Where does Grace have to take the stairs so Done. she can fly? Anyway. But yeah, apparently there are some things that I, I can. Rest. Oh, oh shit! I'm sorry, Dakon. Once we're, once we loot this place, we Done. can go to Marta's and rest. Yeah. Actually, can we rest here? We cannot rest in this area. Fuck me. Uh, shit. I'm gone. Shelves lined with books. Fuck. Okay. Uh, what are we looking for then? I know there's one thing that I'm looking for, but I've, like, as you can tell, I haven't been in the vault, so... Nope, nothing over here. I'm gone. Oh, shoot. I'm gone. Lots of books. Frog's actually a very well-read person, it seems. Well, was. Uh, let's see. Because uh, those shadows just fucked him right up. Done. I... I don't get it. What am I looking for? I'm gone. Like, the container I'm looking for. I know what I'm like, and I know what item I'm looking for. But, not what I'm like, not the container it's in that I'm Done. looking for. To tell it to you straight, we're looking for a doll, and we're looking for a doll in the shape of the Lady of Pain. But, I will accept healing items. Uh, I can't seem to find it, though. Fuck. Um, yeah, I, I can't find it. So, I guess as we're on our way out, uh, All right. I guess I'll just admit some full disclosure in that I know what we're going to be doing this episode, mostly because I did it before and we lost all the footage. And that kind of broke me a bit. Because, like, I couldn't get the episode re-recorded and done it on time. So, uh, there are a couple of things that I want to do before, uh, we do what I had planned. How do I go back? I'm gone. Please tell me I can go back. All right. Oh no. How do I go back? 
Is there an archway that I don't know about that I need to go back to? Through? Oh no. Please don't tell me my dumbass just got us stuck here. Okay, I actually had to go and look up how to get out of here real quick. Luckily, there, there's a, there's a, there's a lovely site that managed to provide the answers without spoilers because somebody was as dumb as I am and they, they got themselves stuck. I, I'm also apparently told that uh, these bookshelves can be looted. Wait, I, I, I saw it. I saw it. Dakon, Dakon, excuse me. Grace, excuse, excuse me. I saw it. I saw it for like just a split second. All right. There we go. Scroll of chromatic orb. I thought I had one of those already. I mean, I'm gone. I probably do, but uh, probably just like sell it. Yeah. Is. There's nothing here. Okay. Oh, come on, my party is so tired. Okay. Nothing here. I'm gone. Uh... Done. <sighs> Fuck. Like, there's supposed to be like a doll of the Lady of Pain in here that uh, I might need later down the road. So, fuck. Here's the place I want to go, though. I think. Done. Alright. It was like somewhere under the bridge, I think. There we go. Okay, kids, let's go take a nap over at Marta's. But, uh, yeah, I also need to go to Marta's to make a purchase for Mort. I'm gone, alright. Alright, sorry for making you wait, Dakon. We can take a nap now. Oh shit! Oh no! Well... Fuck, um... I didn't mean to select that... But apparently I'm gonna get some things that'll be useful down the line? Fuck. I am, yeah, I'm not gonna watch this either. Actually, you know, never mind. Never mind. I don't want to do this. I did no, mm -mm. I just wanted to sleep here. I am so sorry, everybody. Oh. Oh. So, Grace, you, uh, have any sisters? Thousands. Oh. Uh, give me a moment to be delirious with joy. 
Are all succubi related? Is this like a Nurse Joy thing? Anyway, I want to nab something from Marta real quick. Let's see. Okay, see so what you pulled from corpses recently. Here we go. Oh, these are at a discount today. Yoink. Oh, my inventory's full. Yoink. There we go. Got you some new biters, Mort, after we fucking lost- hey. After we fucking lost Ingress's teeth. I'm gone. To fucking Lothar. Anyway, there's also one more thing I want to do, because, uh, again, full disclosure, I went to what the fans know as the Rubicon Maze to try and find our new party member, and, uh, well, in the middle of it, Anna decided to, uh, throw a fit and leave permanently. I could not find her. And apparently this is because our, our, our dear beloved healer over here is in the party and she doesn't get along with her, but apparently if I'm nice to her that this has like less of a chance of randomly happening. So let's 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 chat Anna up a bit and see if we can't prevent that. Anna just looks at you as you address her and she frowns. Hey, what do you want now? Are you alright? And I just glares at you. Mm. Anna, I want you with me, and not, I will not, uh, do I tell her, just, do I just straight up say, I, I need you with me, or do I just, uh, you know what, first rule of friggin' games where you can, where you can, like, form bonds with characters, you tell them what they want to hear, uh, do it then, Anna glares at you. I'm betting you won't. If you do, then we'll be better off for it. If not, then we'll be having to this talk again, we will. Ugh. Anna, please. You're very important to me, and I need your help. Oh, I? And why is that, then? And this should be rich, it should. You pity me, is that it? You think I slow you down? You think I slow you down? Go on, say it. I don't pity you, and you don't slow me down. You're quick. You're skilled. I really need all the help I can get. Anna frowns, her tail flickering back and forth. I will. No will gutter if she starts sizing us up for a feat. It's I will. She glares at you. And don't get any ideas. I'm, I'm, I'm staying, because cause cause you want me to. I'm just helping you out, I am. That's okay. Oh, just, please don't run off again like that, especially not in the middle of a maze that's in a pocket dimension. Let's see if I can find out more about her while we're at it. Let's see. Okay, hopefully, 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 she won't run off now. At least I fucking hope not. Anyway, uh, we need to go take care of one thing before, uh, we, we need to take care of prepping, and we need to take care of, like, one thing before we go. So... I will meet you guys in the Alley of Dangerous Angles. Come on, Grace. I thought you succubi was supposed to be fun. Why so cold? You know what? On some planes, they burn justice for firewood. Harsh. Sheesh. Ask a question and they flay the skin from your bones. At the same time, that's really something the World of Balance should have done. Okay, so let's see.
Crystal still wants Black Rose dead, so... Hey, hey, did we, did we ever loot this? We never looted this. Uh, oh. Is my inventory full? It's full. Uh, hmm. Well, we don't really need this, and I don't think it's going to sell for a lot. Um... Yeah, that, 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 that ought to do it. Time being, though... Done. What about... I'm going to be a sneaky sneak boy, and... Ha! Ah! Oh shit. Uh. And... Axe of Torment? Oof. All right. Oof, is he dead? Done. Done. Uh, well, Grace is standing over him, so... Grace? Can you... What do you have on him? A dirty rat charm, and that's it. Well, hopefully Crystal will give us a better reward than that. Nameless. I'm buddy. Gone. She's over there. There we go. Have you found Black Rose and eliminated his cancer from the alley? Yes, you need not worry about him any longer. And we get a thousand coppers for that. She hands you a large patched purse. You have my thanks, and the thanks of the Razor Angels. We part friends, and shall remember you. Alright. Updated my journal. Thanks, Crystal. So now, I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do next is a little bit of inventory management and I'm also gonna do some off-screen shopping at Mebeth's. Pick up some healing items for the journey ahead. Ragpicker Square is up here. The only succubus ever to travel with us and she's a Puritan. You know, I have the worst luck. Your luck seems to blanket us all. <laughs> I'll say I... Hey, wait a minute. I don't get it. I think I went to the- yeah, I went to the wrong place. Oops. Where are we? Oh right, Ragpicker Square is like its own spot on the map, God damn it. Okay, so I'll see you when I'm done shopping. So what are you, Mort? You've never said. Me? I'm the head of Vecna. I can't tell if he's being serious or not. Anyway, I decided to rest so that way we would have all of our spells back, and so that way we could assign some spells for the new slots that both Nameless and Dacon have. And now, we are off to the Clerk's Ward, because if you remember, Dayanara in the Her Sensate Stone so, said that. Uh, when are you heading back to your knocking shop, Succubus? I don't know if I will be going back. It's where you belong, so maybe you should. Uh, but yeah, if you remember, Dayanara said that she left a legacy for us to help us remember. Not to mention, now that we know that Dayanara has a sensory stone in the private sensorium, we can help her father, Ianis, get a little bit of closure. Hi, Giannis. You look like you haven't been sleeping. What is it you want this time? Uh... Well, first... Can you tell me about the fire? Are you looking... Actually, no, wait. Uh... Can you tell me what was burned? Number of old legacies were burned, and some me and some mementos and keepsakes that will be of value to me. Okay, legacies. Actually, I've come to collect the legacy of a young woman. Let's see, the young woman's legacy is six eight seven K S. Ah, Ianis nods. It seems you spoke true. My daughter was known to you. He sighs. Hold a moment. I will see what was left to you. I will Updated wait. Updated my journal. 
All the articles are accounted for. Ionis and Ionis is holding three scrolls in his hands. I had no idea then I had no idea that she had established a legacy here. He's staring at the item, was almost hypnotized. Here you are, if I may. May I read them, sir? Of course. Giannis takes the scroll and studies it. There is a very long silence, and he slowly looks up at you. You meant very much to my daughter. She was willing to give up her life for you. I believe that was the Updated case. Updated my journal. Giannis and hands the scroll back to you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's the least I can do. But, I also wanted to let you know, there is a sensory stone in the sensorium that contains a fragment of your daughter's experiences. His eyes blaze up with hope. There is, but which one? You must tell me. It's one of the sensate sensory stones. If you're not a sensate, you, you can't gain access. He thinks for a moment. I must find a way. Perhaps they will make an exception for her father. Uh, let's see. Do not wish to break the sensate's laws. Nevertheless, I could speak to someone and see if someone else might... If something else... Actually, no, wait. Uh... If you wanted, I could speak to someone. I'm certain they would make an exception in your case. Updated my journal. Ianus looks relieved. If you could, I would be most grateful. I'll see what I can do. But first... Let's go ahead and read that letter from Dayanara. My love, if you are reading this, then, tra then the tragedy that I have seen has come to pass. I have died and you have remained to suffer the loss. Know this, my love. I know why you were forced to shield your feelings from me. You sought to protect me from the terrible burden you carry with you. The distance you kept between us was your way of protecting me. And then in the brief moments when, when, you're, when we were alone and you let your feelings be known, that was when I knew you cared for me. Carry no regrets with you. Carry no guilt. I came with you on your haunted journey be of my own accord. And no matter how death came for me, I know you did everything in your power to save me. Our lives are and are entwined, my love, and death shall be no wall between us. For my sight has seen what is to come, only in staccato segments, but it is enough for me to know that we will be separated for a time, but we shall be reconciled again. Thus, do not see my death as a farewell, but only as an interval before we meet again. Carry my ring with you, these other pieces of me, and think of me. Keep me in your mind and heart, and that will be the beacon that might reverends us together, forever, Dayanara. The other scroll is a healing scroll that you can basically uh, use its power to nearly fully heal you and save my ass on the Rubicon before Anna decided to, decided to ditch us. And the last thing we have is... Danara's ring. This ivory ring was part of Danara's legacy. It radiates with, sad, with a slight glow, though it is cold to the touch. The chill is strangely, is strangely comforting. The ivory band stretches to fit them to fit the width of any finger. Among the many, many secrets of the Society of Sensation is the ability to shape a peculiar stone from Elysium, dubbed Soul Stone. While this stone is not as powerful as sensory stones, the soul stone is said to carry the an imprint of the shaper's feelings. These rings are often used in sensate marriage ceremonies, each ring inscribed with the feelings of the other. This ring was obviously meant for you. When wearing Dayanara's ring, you gain added protection from all attacks, additional protection from any piercing attacks. Presumably, the ring's purpose is to shield the heart from shock and trauma, and it extends to any physical pain the wearer suffers as well. Oh, Dayanara, if only you knew. Let's drop by the Civic Festival real quick.
Winter, my good man, can you help me out with something? I had other questions. There's a man, Ionis, whom I was hoping you would grant temporary access to the private sensorium. And for what reason would we allow such a thing? Because one of the stones contains a fragment of his daughter's experiences. She died far from home, not having seen him in a long while, and he mourns her loss deeply. Updated my journal. Splinter nods and thinks for a moment, then nods again. Yes, we shall allow the Theonis to enter the private sensorium, well escorted, of course. You may tell him that he has permission. Thank you, Splinter. Alright, let's go tell Theonis the good news. Ionis, my man, I have good news. You see, Ionis, he turns as you enter, his eyes light up hopefully. Ah, at last, were you able to convince them to grant me access to their sensorium? Yes, they agreed to give you access and temporary access to your daughter's sensory stone. You, I, thank you, good sir, I am in your debt. It was no trouble, Giannis. Please, go see the experiences of your daughter. I think they might ease your troubles. Updated my journal. Yay! We got to help the poor old bloke. Okay. Next thing I want to do is... Alright. Well, it's time. I think my favorite thing you can do with this, though, is... Move the arms and make sword fighting noises. The joy clicks and whirs as you move the clockwork joints. Within moments, the tiny cube has vanquished every imaginary opponent you have sent against it, and can say it and set against it, and settled back into its normal position. Wave its arms and make cheering noises. Hordes of imaginary creatures from across the plains cheer the cube's victory. You can almost see a tiny oily tear brimming on one of its eyes. It is a hero. The greatest cube to ever roam the plains, and everyone loves it. In your mind, fall from grace and Anna, hug it, and shower it with kisses. <laughs> However, we're not going to put the cube away for further battles against the multiverse. We're just gonna... we're, we're, we're gonna fuss with it. So, let's see. Move in the left knee, the toy makes an odd pop, and then after that we want to mess with the left wing, and then... And then... the right wing, and then the right arm. There's a whir and a click, and, a bl and, the, and then a blinding white light suddenly explodes in your hands. What? And here we are at Rubicon. Let me just give me a moment to save real quick in case... Somebody decides to be a dick. Ah, damn, I wish I cut in sooner, because apparently, according to Dakon, this place is limbo, but it rings of mechanists. So, let's talk to this Modron real quick. Let's see. Hi. The creature focuses its emotionless eyes on you. Greetings, adventurer. Welcome to Rubicon, the dungeon construct. Thank you for choosing Rubicon for your dungeoning experience. You may cross Rubicon through this door. Uh, what is a dungeon construct? What is a Rubicon? It won't answer. Okay, kids. See a mechanical man with pale skin. Although it's obviously a construct, it does have an animated face with scowling at you. Hi. It, it, grr. It, am I supposed to be threatened by that? It looks confused. Grr? It makes a feeble, threatening gesture toward you. I asked you if I'm supposed to be frightened by that. It stares at you for a moment while considering your question. Yes, grr. 
is a sound and an in indicator of threat. Uh, when they would indicate an appropriate gesture and add to the weight of the threat, fear is an anticipated response which will give me the advantage in the fight that follows. Leaves to attack. Okay. Alright, everybody gather around! Oh right, there's something I need to do real quick, and that's, uh, I need to fucks with Grace's AI real quick, because according to everybody, it's just like, do not let her manually, and do not let her, like, AI heal. You do that shit manually. Which, apparently, the only way to do that is to deactivate party AI for everybody. I'm gone. But hey, we have a fancy new formation now. Kind of. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yep, there's another mechanical man. It's basically the same stuff as last time. What a curious construct this is. Yeah, curious is one word for it, I guess. There's a bunch more. Nobody cares what they have to say because they're gonna be dead. There we go. Also, I. One thing I really like about the, uh... Oh! They actually dropped something good! Fuck! Um... I wanted to point out something silly, though. Did they drop the silly thing? Oh, yes. A magic item! Another one you can find is just a goodie! <laughs> uh... Modrons are terrible DMs. Modrons are just terrible, terrible DMs. Aw, you're fine, Grace. Done. There we go. Go fuck yourselves. Okay. Uh, I think I was supposed to go this way. Not entirely sure. There we go. Did he drop anything good? Probably not. I may need a new formation if everybody's gonna keep crowding around the item. Ooh, he dropped some drink and a blue lens. Uh, inventory's kind of full though. Uh, uh, hang on to this, buddy. There we go. I'm gone. Oh, Grace could get that for me then if you're just gonna like stand there, thanks. Let's see. Let's identify it. Let us... Oh, Grace doesn't have identify hotkey. Let's fix that. Ba -ba. Usable only by m Oh. Is our new party member a Modron? Oh boy. Oh boy. Mort's gonna be happy about that. <laughs> yes, yes, you're something, something, something. Die. Drink. I'm gone. Cool, a shiny. What a curious construct this is. I mean, you could say that. It's about to become very painful, though. Here we are, the control room. I think we talked to this Modron. Let's see. What about hi? Greetings. The creature speaks with a monotone, sexless voice. I have some questions. Let's see. Uh. What is this place? What exactly is that? Let's see. The Modron begins to admit a soft humming sound as it answers you. 
Rubicon project goal is to determine the dynamics, both social and asocial, surrounding the environment commonly constructed as a dungeon, and attempt to explain the aberrations that tend to occur in, in such environments. How do you intend to do that? Rubicon is capable of forming a series of rooms linked in such a fashion as to form what is commonly referred to as a dungeon. Each dungeon is said to have had one of three sensory difficulty settings, easy, normal, or hard. The dungeon is then populated with monsters, traps, and treasure, according to the difficulty level chosen. After, and after, the dungeon is in, after, and after creation, the dungeon can be fully explored. Hmm. I'd like to try out one of these options. Request denied. Project hailed and hen halted due to accident. Let's see. Dungeon construct became unstable cause sudden cause certain fail staves activated causing dungeon to collapse. Cause uncertain. Portal lens malfunctioning causing contact with home plane of mechanist to be severed. Cause uncertain. Reset of dungeon necessary. And why don't you reset it? Reset can only be initiated by Project Director. Project Director then then disintegrated. Portal lens has malfunctioned, and contact with Mechanist and severed. Cannot acquire replacement director for Mechanist. Let me get this straight. You can't reset without a director, but you can't get a director without resetting. Assessment correct. Project can halted. Look, I'm an adventurer, and I've seen and, and I've seen some dun I've been through some of these dungeons in my in my day. Why not let me be your director? Assistance welcome. You are now project director. Advise on next task. Reset the dungeon. And then let's see. I create a dungeon to explore. And if we want to find our new party member, we have to set it to hard. Oh boy. I think it immediately takes us back to the Rubicon entrance. Dumb. Yes. Okay, so first things first, let's rest because uh, some of us got banged up during that fight. So. Bantu this time. Alright, let me save real quick then. Okay, now I have a question for you all. Do you guys like cringing? Because you're probably going to do a lot of that now. Also, we're going to be resting a lot, probably, because I'm going to be burning up a lot of my spell slots. Oh, oh God! Oh, go! Okay, God, we're, we're, we're leaving. Oof. I, I'm listening. I really hope they maintain the amount of health that they've lost. Uh, Grace. A pleasure. It shall be done. There we go. Also, I may want to, like, get a new formation. Uh, that isn't that one. Um... This one, maybe? Anyway, uh, let's see. Get your water wounds. And then... Mm. Ah, uh, healing spells are for like when Grace is like, you know. Okay. Done. Okay, did we? Oh, I think we. Yeah, we killed one. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be a lot of this, isn't it? Okay. Just take one of these for now. 
Uh, Anna, you take one too. Actually, Dacon, take another one. There we go. Oh shit. Uh. I'm here. Grace. Help. Okay, never Don't mind. Let it end like this. Good going, Grace. Oof. Uh, Axel Torment. Or not! Okay. Or not, because, I don't know, fuck me, I guess. There we go. Now, as I was saying... Axel, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Another trip to the mortuary. Shut up, Mort. Shall we proceed? Yeah. I'm sorry I keep dying so much, everybody. Because somebody doesn't want to cast the goddamn spell I tell him to. Uh, uh, fuck uh, sake! How many times must this fool die? You have awakened. Yeah, I sure have. I sure fucking have. Okay. You know what? Hold on. More. Wait, is the other one? Oh no, the other one's right there. You father of trolls. Okay, maybe now that he's dish. Oh, I can't cast Axe of Torment anymore because I don't know. I guess fuck me. Okay, Grace, please actually, like, do the thing this time. Or not! No matter, he'll be up in a bit. <sighs> this was not anywhere near as hard last time. I mean, it was still hard, but good god. Alright, let's get Dak on up, I guess. <laughs> rest of it. There is gonna be a lot of resting as long as we're still in the Rubicon. Okay. I guess we'll just have Grace use her spells here because she can't be asked to use them when I tell her to. Because fucking Maybe shit. Lend me strength. Hopefully this should be enough to hold everybody over. Probably not. But hey, I have my spells back, so... Are they back to... Did they re... Are they dead? Done. I mean... I mean... Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. Oh no, wait. <laughs> This place stinks of oil. Ugh. I mean, if he's stuck right there, I mean, I guess we could just, like, go on our merry way, yeah? Yeah, here we go again. What makes you think I'm an intruder? Because you're not one of us. Because that logic's always worked before. Nameless, please do not charge right into fucking battle. Okay, let's see if we can't just take care of it with some good old magic artillery. Actually, better yet, call lightning. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Understanding of what's going on, Modrons are shitty DMs. All right. 
Okay. I'm gone. Hey, a blood charm. Nice. I still have to go rest though because oh my god, everybody got fucked up. But hey, back on leveled up. Yay. Okay. I, I feel like I'm in a cuckoo. Ah! Okay, I was right to bail. Yes? What did you wish? Yeah, fuck. Okay, uh. Cure moderate wounds. Please patch up nameless. Yeah, Wait, did she just speak Japanese? I'm pretty sure I just recognized the word Shiawase. Lend me strength. Okay. Yeah, I guess we do have to take care of that asshole then. Uh let's beat it up with a hammer. Guys, I, okay, or we can just let Anna die. What the? F no, when I select, when I select everybody, I mean fucking select everybody. Holy! Oh my god! I. Encore. You, encore. I. Looks like beauty sleep hasn't helped you any. You guys saw that, right? Like I was trying to click on them, but they weren't doing anything. Ugh, like I said, I hope you guys like cringing because, oh my god, there's going to be a lot of it this episode because I suck. Also, if anybody could, like, teach me how to fix the weird glitchiness that comes with spells a lot, that would be really nice. What a curious construct this is. Let's worry about resting for now. Wait, what the? Okay, it just vanished for a little bit. In fact, I probably... That... All right. How did that not heal them? That didn't heal them at, like... At all. Anyway, just... Give me a... No, I want to get... Yes, I want to remove it from my spell book, because we don't really need Identify right now. We need as much artillery as we can get. Okay. Is resting actually going to heal them this time? A bit. I mean, I'll take it, but... May my face lend me strength. There you go. I think the best option to go with when resting is instead of just spamming rest a bunch of times, just have Grace heal everybody as best she can and then rest. There we go. Okay, let's try taking care of this shit heal one more time. There, go fuck yourself. Also, why is nobody Okay, there we go. Just oh Okay. Oh great, there's three of them again. Okay, let's just ambush them with magic. I hear your words. No, I don't wanna don't don't talk to it. Just Yes, just, just cast all your magics at it. Well, hey, at least one of them's dead. Okay, everybody out! I'm gone. And then... Grace, please do the thing. go. Once more for good measure. May my 
God, I don't think we were fucking. You're right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Thanks for the concern, Anna. For now, let's let's rest. Oof. I'm gone. Did I? Oh, right, it's a hammer. Nobody cares. Where'd the other one go? Did we kill it? I think we did. Nope, it's right there in the fucking doorway. No, don't run right up at it! What the fuck are you doing, Nameless? Holy fuck, no! Okay, let's see if we can't catch it with Axe of Torment. right up oh my fucking god well at least it's dead i guess everybody is just suffering a really bad case of the stupid this episode it seems grace do you want to put me in your inventory oh uh and i can't reach Done. the goodies over here all right. Nice. Okay. Uh. Done. I think mayhaps me. We 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 may want to go back and rest real quick again. There we go. Say one more time for good measure. Okay. Which way are we going? This way, and the goodies are stuck under whatever the fuck that is, so. Yeah, I. I oh, God. Okay. How may I help? That took care of one real quick. Let's uh bail out real quick, give them some time to maybe reset. This is limbo, yet it rings of Machinus. Okay. In my face, lend me strength. Patch myself up a bit. Oh, that didn't work. I'm listening. Okay, let's just have, uh, Grace use the 
hammer then. Balance in all things. Right. doesn't lose his memory. Yeah, I don't need you smarting off to me more. I really don't. Okay. Ugh, this new party member better be worth it. Wait, what the- right out the- Good God, why do they randomly set reset sometimes and not others? Okay, Grace, seriously, please actually heal Nameless this time. Well, she did the thing, so I guess that works. Uh, let's see. Pop one of these real quick. I'll pull one of these on Dacon real quick. No, not, not Grace. She's out of offensive spells. I... Nameless, why aren't you fucking casting anything? This fool die. You guys fucking ah, saw that, I'm yeah? Real sick of you dying on us. Cut it out, will ya? I'd love to stop dying on you, Mort, but at the same time, I'd really like these guys to stop being such fucking assholes. They're basically the equivalent of those fuckheads in hey, FPS. This place stinks of oil. Ugh. Uh, they're basically the same. They're basically the equivalent of those fuckheads in shooter games that wait outside the spawn and basically spawn camp you. Fucking scumbags. Are they still there? Or oh, wait, have we been to this room already? Nope! Only one. Thank goodness for small favors. And while the the one is focusing on Mort, have everybody else gang up on it. There we go. Okay. What did it drop? It dropped some drink and a goodie! Anyway, though, we are running a bit low on time, so hopefully...
next time on Let's Play Planescape Torment, things will not be near as much of a mess. I will see you guys then, and take care.